The first step is to snap a chalk line at the very bottom of where you want the panels to start and make sure the line is level. Then proceed to install the starter strips across the bottom of every wall that will get Easy Rock panels installed. Always install panels left to right. Panels are marked 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the top lap. The purpose of this numbering system is to eliminate putting two identical panels side by side or top to bottom as each numbered panel has a unique pattern. The most important point is to avoid having two panels with the identical number be next to each other, side to side or top to bottom. Notice our system has a tongue and groove construction designed to allow all parts to fit together well. Install the panels in an offset pattern so they do not line up at the edges, as this makes a much more natural appearance. When panels are being installed into a wood substrate as we have here, use seven 1 and 5 8 inch galvanized deck screws, five evenly spaced out on the top tongue and two evenly spaced out into the right side tongue and countersink 1 8 inch into the panel. When installing into a concrete substrate, please refer to our installation guide posted up on the Easy Rock website. When installing panels, you can run into two distinctly different situations, and it is important to handle them as follows. Installing panels on a wall where the left-hand starting point is a trim piece and corner piece on the right-hand side facing the wall. Note, the same installation method applies when starting at an inside corner and working towards an outside corner on the right. Because we know this wall starts with trim pieces on the left and ends with corner pieces on the right, the trim gets installed first and the corner on the first row gets installed next but only loosely tacked on as it will be removed later. Now proceed to measure from the right side corner to the trim on the left side to determine how many full panels you will need. The remaining space will be a partial panel that will need to be cut. Once the first panel width is determined, make a straight cut on the left side of the panel and proceed to butt to the trim. Install all panels across the row, screwing into the tongues on the top and right edge of the panels. Before the last panel is installed, remove the loosely tacked corner piece so the last panel can be properly secured on the right side. Then properly fasten the corner. Proceed up the wall in the same manner to ensure a proper stagger and natural appearance. Seeing that this wall has corners on both left and right sides, we will install the left and right corner on the first row first. Then proceed to install full panels from the left corner. When you approach the right side corner piece, measure the remaining distance between the last installed panel and the corner piece. Mark and cut the next panel in a matching one and one half inch stagger to fit the remaining distance by cutting from the right side of the panel. Note, this removes the right tongue, so insert two screws into a grout line on the right side of the panel to fasten securely. Now that we know the remaining space left for a partial panel, this partial panel can be pre-made for each remaining row. So on the next row, use the partial panel on a different section of the row, maybe as the first piece. This will stagger the panels, varying the panel edges for the most authentic installation. On the second and subsequent rows, Wait to install the corner on the right side until the last panel can be secured. Proceed up the wall in the same manner to ensure a natural look. 